I've got the new Waymar Gear Evolve backpack featuring Ultra 200 material. Does it stand up to the abuse I'm gonna put it through? Stay tuned and find out, it's coming up next. Meet the latest addition to the Waymark family, the new and improved Evolve Ultra Backpack. Designed in collaboration with the Outdoor Evolution, the Evolve Ultra is Waymark's lightest full-size pack at just 14 ounces, designed for efficiency, functionality, and movement. Utilizing and adapting the original design of Waymark's through pack, the Evolve Ultra is designed to keep the pack from sagging on your back and shoulders with the use of load shifters, allowing the pack to carry and shift weight comfortably without a hip belt. On the side here you can see how that load shifter brings that pack nice and tight up against my back. The ergonomic design flows right around my shoulders and then down through my torso, eliminating any of that shift that you're going to feel with some other packs uh, that don't have those load shifters. Other features of the pack include over-the-top compression utilizing 3 8 inch webbing with an adjustable buckle that's used to close and compress the roll top opening of the pack. New in the 2022 upgrade, two trekking pole loops have been added for storing your trekking poles when not in use, and the familiar ice axe loop carried over from the previous design are located on the front bottom side of the pack, along with the included bungee cord locks on each side of the top of the pack, just above the lycra mesh for locking your poles and ice axe in place. Single side compression cords made with 3mm polyester and an adjustable line lock allow you to cinch taller items to the side of your pack. Expandable elasticized side pockets are angled towards your back for easier access while wearing the backpack. Each pocket is able to accommodate up to two 1 liter smart water bottles. An adjustable chest strap, also called a sternum strap, features expandable elastic allowing the strap to flex as your arms move with your trekking poles, allowing for much added comfort in the chest area. You notice that the harness system itself has daisy chain running it along the strap here which allows you to take the sternum strap and move it up and down on the harness system depending on what's comfortable for you. The Evolve features a large lycra mesh front pocket that's great for storing easy access items or drying out wet gear. A number of accessories are available for purchase if you're considering the Evolve backpack. While a hip belt isn't necessary, there are two options available for purchase from the Waymark website. A basic 1 inch webbing hip belt is available or if you'd like all the bells and whistles, you can purchase a deluxe padded hip belt. To attach the removable padded hip belt, open the slit clip and slide it with the hook facing up, pushing it into the 1 inch webbing loop located at the lower end of the shoulder strap on the shoulder wing. For storage options, pockets are available for use with the padded hip belt. Purchased individually, these are 1.35 ounces each and are 6 inches wide, 5 inches tall, and 2 inches deep. These are great for cell phones, cameras, snacks, and maps. These pockets are designed for use with the padded hip belt and won't work well with the 1 inch removable hip belt. For your shoulder straps, a 0.7 ounce stretch shoulder pocket is available with a slick clip that allows you to move it up and down the daisy chain on the shoulder straps located on all Waymark backpacks. These pockets are sold individually and are great for cell phones, smaller 750 ml water bottles, and various odds and ends. This is nice for maybe a small water bottle. I like to put my gloves, hat, and headlamp inside of this. That way it's always at the ready. If the weather shifts, maybe the wind picks up and I feel like I need to change my hat out for something a little bit warmer. Because the Evolve backpack isn't waterproof, Waymark sells clear nylofume bags, which are ultra light at less than one ounce and great for waterproofing the contents of your bag. And at $2.50 per bag, you can pick up a few to share with your buddies. Besides all these great options, the all-star feature of this newly updated backpack is the material. The Evolve Ultra features EcoPack EPL Ultra 200 and 400 fabrics that are ultra light and incredibly durable. These are relatively new materials to hit the backpacking market from the fabric company Challenge Sail Cloth. Ounce for ounce, Ultra fabrics are likely to be the strongest, most durable materials you can buy in the market today. If that wasn't enough, they're also incredibly waterproof and seam tapeable. The outer body is made up of an Ultra 200 material, and for abrasion resistance, the bottom is an Ultra 400 material. Ultra combines a UHM WPE, or Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene Woven Face, with a laminated film backing to produce a fabric that has incredible properties. Extremely high tear and tensile strength. 
maximal cut, abrasion, and wear resistance. In fact, Ultra 200 tested to an amazing 3,800 cycles on the Tabor test. The Tabor Abrazer is a precision-built instrument developed to perform accelerated wear testing. In comparison, 50D Dyneema material only tested to around 500 cycles before failure. The X-Pac material VX42, 1700 cycles, and Ultra 400, an amazing 7600 cycles on the Tabor Abrazer. Waymark products using Ultra can handle more abuse and ultimately last longer compared to similar weight materials like X-Pac or Dyneema. Welcome to the Evolve Ultra Extreme Testing Arena. Don't you hate when this happens to your backpack? Frozen in a block of eight inches of ice. Challenge Sailcloth engineers did a series of tests, stressing the Ultra fabric for delamination. Their first test was to take Ultra 400 and subject it to 12 hours of exposure at 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Scrunch the bag into a ball and then smooth it out looking for delamination. We're gonna take that challenge to the next level. Freezing the backpack in a solid block of ice eight inches thick suspended 50 feet over a concrete pad. After this brutal test, did the fabric survive? Mission complete. 50 foot drop frozen in a block of 8 inches of ice. Let's take it in, melt it down, and see if there's any delamination of the material. got the bag thought out and as you can see there is absolutely no damage to the material whatsoever on the outside all the stitching is looking good no delamination on the outside of the pack but let's take a look at the inside which is what I'm most curious so this is a first look absolutely zero delamination of this material and let's flip this entire thing inside out and get a good look the inside of the ball. Solid. Got no bubbling in the material, no separation of the material. Seams look good. Everything is intact. And this was after being float frozen in a block of ice for 10 days, dropped 50 foot on a block of concrete. I gotta say, test number one, success. Round number two, accelerated wear testing. We're gonna take the Evolve out on the trail for some wear testing, but I'm not gonna wear this. We've packed it full of towels and blankets and I'm gonna be dragging it behind me on my polk sled harness. Does the Ultra 200 and 400 material hold up? Stay tuned to find out. Engage. This is not a drill. Is we're really subjecting this material to an incredible amount of abrasion over rocks, mud, sticks, sand, dirt, and we're gonna be dragging this thing for two miles.
And full disclosure, Waymark Gear sent me this pack for review. Only, I wasn't just gonna tell you about the pack and the specifications. I really wanted to put this thing through its paces. And as you can see, we're doing just that. <laughs> this is just crazy. No backpack should have to go through this kind of abuse. All right, we're about halfway into our test and we're gonna take a quick look at the backpack and see how it's holding up. Processing. So as expected, it looks like the Lycra is taking the most abuse and that's expected. So far, the Ultra is looking pretty good. No significant wear on the bottom or the sides in the 200 material, just the Lycra itself. System stable. Engage. I don't suggest doing this to your pack at home. <laughs> Let's channel the goat. If this thing can hold up to the abuse that I'm putting through, it's definitely going to do what you need it to do. All right, we're coming up to the trailhead here. Let's check out our Evolve pack and let's see how it fared after being drugged for two miles behind Miyagi. Mission complete. Processing. All right, we finished up the test and we're gonna take a look at how this material held up. As you can see, looking up close, exactly what I expected. The Lycra mesh took the worst beating of it all. This was dragged over rocks and roots and mud and we did get a nice tear in the Lycra material. But looking at the Ultra material itself, this is the 200 on the back here and the 400 on the bottom. As you can see, there is absolutely nowhere on this pack where we've gotten any holes or any even significant abrasion. And this is, this was subjected to some serious abuse. Nothing, nowhere. In fact, even all the stitching is in place. Nothing has given way except the Lycra material. In fact, the Lycra material on the pocket is still in really good shape. System stable. So let's take this back to the house. Let's get it cleaned up for the final test. When it's time to wash your pack, typically you're gonna hit it with a hose or maybe wipe it down with a washcloth. In this test, we're gonna throw it in the washing machine on the highest setting possible. Challenge Sailcloth put this fabric in a washing machine for a 40 minute cycle. In our test, we're gonna be more than quadrupling the time at the hottest, most aggressive setting. Just for good measure. Heavy duty, hot, Extra fast, heavy soil, pre-soak, hour and 55. All right, there we go. Now that's pretty clean. Everything is still solid and in place. Let's take a quick look at the inside of the bag. Looking good. All right, for the final phase of test number three, we're gonna toss this in the dryer. For the final phase of test three, we're gonna be drying this in the dryer on high heat 
for 98 minutes. All phases complete. 98 drying cycle is complete. Let's take a look at the fabric. Inspecting the Evolve Ultra Backpack after this final test in the dryer at full heat for 98 minutes revealed no damage to the fabric of the pack. While Waymark Gear and I don't recommend that you wash and dry your backpack in this manner, this test goes to prove that the lamination process that the Ultra material goes through is far superior to almost everything that's out on the market today. The death of many laminated products in the outdoor industry can be attributed to the extreme temperatures and wear over time through abrasion and repeated flexing of the material. I was equally impressed with the quality of craftsmanship that went into this bag. The backpack in this test is a perfect example of the care that goes into every product constructed by the employees at Waymark Gear Company. Inspecting the backpack inside and out, every single seam was intact, no loose threads, and no stretching or warping of the material. Adding to the awesome qualities of this fabric, EPL Ultra is made from 33% recycled polyester components, so it's better for the planet. Far less energy is used to recycle polyester than to create new nylons. Every yard of the EcoPack material saves over one pound of CO2 compared to nylon pack fabric. And EcoPack contains no harmful TPU, PVC, DWR, or other harmful coatings. Despite all these great features and the amazing Ultra material that this pack features, the Evolve Ultra isn't for everyone. Unless you're just using this as a day pack, the Evolve is designed for those backpackers who have a base weight of about 10 pounds and an overall pack weight of just 20 pounds. 35 liters means that your equipment needs to be dialed in and ultralight. Right now, the Evolve is available in one torso size in the 14 to 16 inch range. If these specifications fit you and you've got your equipment dialed in, then the Evolve may be just the perfect pack for you. I want to thank Waymark Gear Company for giving me the chance to review this pack. And I want to thank each of you for tuning in for this review. I take great pride in seeing how my equipment will hold up in the toughest of conditions. And I hope you enjoyed and appreciate the content presented here. And if you did, maybe you'll consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more great content on the way. My final thoughts, the Evolve passed all testing with flying colors. In fact, I'm super excited to use this pack for the remainder of the 2022 season after I fix that little Liker spot. If this pack interests you, I put a link to the Evolve Ultra in the description below and in the cards above. Guys, thanks again for tuning in and hopefully we'll see you out on the trail. I wanna give a special thanks to my production assistants, Jackson and Jack. If you get a chance, check out Jackson's uh, YouTube channel. He's a, what are you, Jackson? I'm a film major at UWM <laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> check out his YouTube channel, Lind Productions, it's on YouTube, and Jack also has one. These guys were instrumental in helping me out. Check out his Instagram. What is it? A-Z-I-W-A-R-E, Ozzy Wear. <laughs> Check him out. This is a casting video behind the, behind the scenes of a product test. He's gone mental. He ran away from us, spewing something about the absolute quality of this product, this, this material. I don't know what he's talking about. He's gone insane. We can't find him anymore. All we have now is this, this trail of him. Uh, we'll keep you updated soon.